Hello, welcome to Never Unboxing. This time it's a Schumann response resonator. I think that's what we're going to call it. Claimed to be running at 7.83 hertz. Now this could be complete rubbish. This could be a snake oil type thing. Apparently it's an electronic device that gives off a wave that is the natural, it's not the natural resonance of the earth, but there's always lightning storms around the world and this will create a sound and obviously the sound evens out and goes right the way around and when you get the lowest frequency possible left to like, sort of like a standing wave of the earth really, it, it's meant to be around 8 hertz. So apparently that's something we're all used to, so if we're surrounded by it anyway, what's the point in having something generating it? Well, they claim all sorts of things. They claim that it's, you know, good for sleep, good for health, will make you be able to do handstands, you know. It, the claims are just endless on these sites about what this can do. But I've got to tell you, I, I went into this with an open mind and I was sort of erring on the, this is going to be rubbish. Oh, and also a lot of these sell for about 25 quid on Amazon. I managed to find one for £8.50 and it was exactly the same one as someone selling it for 25 quid. So have a good look around. Again with this one, I got this one for under a tenner and now it's 25 quid. And even the seller that sold me this one has put the price up, so there we are. So it's a, well it's a sort of a kit, it's not really a kit because it's all a, it's already done for you, you just got to put it on its protection. Now, someone left a comment about, I don't know what voltage to run and whatever, but if you, if you read the uh, instructions that are with it, it says 12 volts at 2 amps. Now the other one I've got doesn't run at 2 amps, but this looks like it's got quite a big uh, output uh, transistor or MOSFET or whatever it is. I'm not really... I mean, I know some electronics, but I'm not really clued up on it. Oh, I know these are capacitors and there's an IC there and there's some surface mount, a lot, quite a lot of surface mount uh, resistors actually on this. So I couldn't get my head around this and I was thinking, well, how does this make, I mean, to make a sound that low, say eight hertz, a sound that is eight hertz, the wave would be about, I don't know, about 2,500 miles long. <laughs> So, I mean, if you've seen the size of subwoofers, and quite often they only go near to the infra base, so i.e. below 20 hertz. Some of them will give resonances from the box and the speaker from that, but won't actually amplify that. Their sort of peaks will normally be around the 30, 40 hertz to about 120, and then you can change them. But some claim to go you know, much lower. And if it did indeed amplify two amps at uh, 7.83 hertz apparently your brain runs at about eight hertz and if you've got the dead on resonant frequency of your brain and amplified it enough you'd you'd blow your head up <laughs> so i thought well this would actually work against you if it's very near to your own brain frequency having this near you would work against you anyway i bought one before and i just sat in the room and i put it on my body i just put it near my heart and I've got to say, I did feel quite relaxed. So whether it's placebo or not, I don't know. But whatever it did, it did something. And I've got it next to my bed and I've had it there for about two weeks. And every night's sleep I've had in the last two weeks has been a nice, deep, nice sleep. When you wake up and you think, oh, I've slept well, that sort of sleep. It's been every night since I've had it next to my bed. So I leave it on all the time. Actually, I'll, I'll take you in and show you. It's, it's very similar to this one. But I know that's different. So, I mean, it could be. But it could be complete and utter tosh. This could be all just made up and it doesn't put out anything whatsoever. I haven't really got anything that will uh, record 8 hertz. But I have got um, an electromagnetic sniffer. So I use that on it to see if it's actually putting out anything. But it could just be these putting that out. But we'll see. I'll see if I can find a beefy enough 12 volt 2 amp to put on there. And what have we got here? Oh right, oh we've got we've got standoffs and we've got um a protective perspex top and bottom which is rather nice because some of them don't come with that. 
In fact, some of them are sold in like a little wooden case at about 80 quid, which is exactly the same thing inside again. And that made me scratch my head because I was thinking it was audio and I was thinking, where the hell's the, any sound going to get out of a sealed wooden box with no vents in it? But it's on the electromagnetic wave that it puts out. So it does look like a sort of a transmitter, I guess. Or like an aerial, really. I, well, I guess they go hand in hand. So we can see that the... Oh, that the mains... Oh, no, it doesn't. It goes into there. Something nearby. Goes straight up after those capacitors there. Anyway, leave your thoughts underneath the video about this. Have you bought one? Has it worked for you? Do you have an opinion? I've just if it's snake oil or not I really don't care it works for me I've had one next to my bed and it seems to be doing something whether it's placebo I can accept it's placebo but it does something we know how powerful placebo is I mean you know it's 50% effective isn't it in medical trials when they give you sugar pills and quite often the colour has something to do with it like if you have a red pill you think that's good for pain and whatever so uh, don't knock placebo it's actually very effective so I'm going to put it together. I'm going to give this a bit of a clean because it's got all sorts of prints and things on it. It doesn't look, doesn't look new, actually. It's got all sorts of um, marks on it and fingerprints or something. Or it could have just been in the box a long time. So I'm going to give it a quick clean and then uh, put it together. We'll put some power in and see what happens. OK, so I've now assembled. The uh, film was quite hard to, to start off, but once it was going, if you just do it very slowly, it comes off well, all in one piece, and there's some nice clean perspex there, and some standoffs. Okay, there we are, that's it. Now, I have a 12 volt power supply at 2 amps, which is what it said on this. Ooh, get a blue light with this one. Okay, so just to show you it's on. I've got to say, I, I don't know. I, I think I feel a little bit more relaxed. Like I say, if it's placebo, it's placebo. But it does seem to make me feel a little bit more relaxed. <laughs> Very strange. Anyway, I also have this device, which I've already done an unboxing on. Just look up the uh, Soma Ether, which picks up all sorts of um, electromagnetic. It picks up the whole spectrum. So I am going to plug this into the camera and let's see if we can hear if it's putting anything out. bedroom and I have let's turn that light on a minute actually it's a smaller device come to think of it yeah it's a bit smaller but similar still got these four big capacitors never a small one hasn't got that great big output transistor that the other one had or has it Anyway, so this one just rests here and it is right next to my bed, right where I sleep. And um, also, 
the light's not too bothersome. It, it, it's a surface mount green on this one. But um, also it lights up the uh, clock just a little bit. And I've got to say, it, it, it's really nice sleeping next to it. Just having that everyone on for a few moments has made me feel a bit more relaxed as well. So, the other one for now. So the other one is just above all the computer equipment. So. There we are, so it can go out there. So that is Schumann Response Resonator, whatever you want to call it, Schumann Wave 7.83. I mean, there's no tuning pot on there, so how accurate that wave is, who would ever know? Does seem to do something though, as I say, could be placebo, but there we are. There it is. Make your own mind up. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. Wow.